Hello Virgo, welcome to your October astrology and tarot reading. My name is Jaiga Bind and this is your channel for grace. Thank you so much for subscribing, for hitting the notification bell and also giving the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. We are having some amazing stuff happening in October um, and I'll tell you a little bit about what's happening with me uh, in October and the channel and what I'm offering and then we'll get into the astrology. So we are uh, hosting my friend um, Jason from Ray of Light Tarot and I are hosting a six week course called Finding the Magic Playground in which you'll learn how to step into manifesting with like a whole new and on a whole new level. There's a basic foundational understanding that we need to have when it comes to the history of the planet, the ascension of the earth, light workers, why we're here, the dimensions, integrating the nine dimensions, moving into the Aquarian age. Um, all of these topics, there's a basic foundational understanding that we need to have if we are going to really truly step into real manifesting in our lives. And what I mean by that is manifesting towards fulfillment, manifesting towards our destiny, moving it, you know, with, um, aligned with the energies of um, the ascension. And when we do that, we literally help to speed up this process. And I think, you know, I'm not the only one that feels like we really need this on planet Earth right now. We really need people to step into their power. And this course is really about that. It's you stepping into your power and learning how to really become a master manifester of what you really want in your life. So the information is in the description of this video. Make sure you check it out. We start on October 13th um, during the full moon in Aries. My natal astrology readings will become available this month of October. Um, starting on the 1st, you'll be able to schedule a natal astrology reading, which will be a very in-depth reading. You're going to get a lot. This isn't going to be just us sitting in front of each other and me talking about your chart. This is going to be me literally taking two weeks to prepare um, to look at, you know, the details of your chart, to look at your purpose. There's specific aspects I, I check with um, in order to um, really do these readings and understand you at a very deeper level and with the focus of really finding, you know, what is your purpose? And this is actually something that you get if you are sign up for the course. You don't get as an in-depth of a, of a reading, but you do get a general astrology reading. I just wanted to mention that because I didn't before. So those readings will be available starting October. You'll be able to sign up and you'll, you can do that on my website, channelforgrace.guru. I'm super excited about these, you guys. I have been waiting for a while to do this and I'm like, I'm so ready to like help people enlighten themselves about who they are. And um, your natal chart is basically like your blueprint of your life. You can see your karmic past. You can see into your future. You can see into your now. It's like a hologram of you, of your life, of the universe. So really excited to be able to bring these to you. So that's also happening. And remember that my Etsy sale, uh, my Etsy shop is called Eagle Star Jewels. The sale is 50% off through September. So through the 30th of September, um, you can... Uh, order stuff that I have on there. I have necklaces, I have mini malas, regular size malas, um, and these little cute petite necklaces made out of crystals and really powerful stones um, that are very important for us. We need to use these stones at this time to help us kind of activate the energies um, and help us to remember things from the past and ancient lives and um, things like that. So those are all really cool things happening in October as well as the October astrological video that came out on Monday. Make sure you check that out because as I go through these transits for you specifically and how they're affecting you in your houses, you can get much more detailed information in the October astrology video. So let's get started. On October 3rd, we begin with three major transitions and that is Pluto goes direct, Mercury moves into Scorpio, and Mars moves into Libra. Now Pluto is a retrograde um, right now, but it, when it moves direct, it starts to transform our lives because Pluto is the planet of transformation. It starts to create a lot of major um, transformational shifts that we can actually see in our outer reality, in our external reality. And this is happening in your fifth house of creativity. So what you're going to see is a transformation in the way that you create things. <clears throat> and this is something that you probably have been already feeling. This is like a, an activation of a, a, a passionate activation of your creativity. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
And because Pluto has been actually transiting your fifth house for a while now, along with Saturn and the South Node. So there's a lot of transformation when it comes to how you create, what you create, how, you're, how this is affecting you, and especially if you have a job or a life purpose or a career that is all about creativity, it's going to affect that as well. Mercury moving into Scorpio. This is cool because this is happening in your third house of communication. Mercury um, is the mind and, and in Scorpio it wants to dive really deep and it wants to know what's underneath the surface. It wants to understand things at a very deep level and this deep sense of understanding gives you more purpose in life and gives you sort of a basis to a foundation to stand on when you do like reach out to communicate with others. When you have this understanding, your communication expands and that's what's going to happen for you. Mars moves into Libra. Um, and this is in your second house of finances. And that's interesting because Mars is our drive. Um, <clears throat> it is ruled by Aries, which is this fiery sign of like, you know, go getter. I'm just going to plow through things. I'm just going to get things done. But when it's in Libra, it, it, it softens, it softens it up a little bit and it makes it a little bit, it can get a little bit lazy. So make sure you stay on top of your finances. Make sure you stay on top of like how you make money, you know, like get just just stay on it and don't get too lazy about it. Um, this could also mean that you start to cooperate with other people when it comes to finances. You, you, you begin to communicate with other people and work with other people to make money because Mars will be in Libra, the, how, the, the sign of communication or collaboration and harmony which is also a good thing in your second house of finances. Now the sun will square Saturn on the 7th and this is going to be our first sort of um, obstacle that we experience this month or at least we're going to feel it kind of intensely because the sun and Saturn are like two big, you know, the sun is the biggest star, it's the star of our planet and Saturn is like the authority. So it's like, I'm going to square you. <laughs> I'm going to teach you a lesson and I'm going to bring something up that you need to figure out and fix. And for you, this is your second house of finances having a conflict with your fifth house of creativity. Now, I don't know exactly how that's going to manifest for you in your life, but just be on the lookout for that. You might feel a little bit of tension between the two. Maybe you're in a situation where your creativity, you want to create a life for yourself, which is something that we talk about in the Finding the Magic Playground course, but you might want to create a life for yourself that is connected to your creativity and the way you make money is by being your creative, passionate self, but somehow you're not doing that. Maybe you have a job or you have a life where you have to make money in this like mundane way and you can't stand it because your creativity is completely like dead. And maybe it, maybe this this comes up because you need to really activate that 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 fire that spark once again and combine the two, right? That could be what's going on for you, but you'll see how this manifests as we get a little closer to this date, the seventh of, of October. On that day, also there's the exact Mercury opposed Uranus transit. Mercury will be in your third house of communication. And directly opposite to it is your ninth house of spiritual integration. Now, this is really cool because Uranus is in Taurus right now, transiting your ninth house of spiritual integration, asking you to reinvent yourself in a spiritual sense, to, to basically step into your spiritual purpose, to bring anchor the light or bring the soul integrated into the body. Um, and you become a more spiritually awakened being when you do this. So you are rebuilding yourself in a spiritual sense right now already because Taurus is transiting your ninth house. But with this opposition to Mercury, you connect. So you're able to, you know, these, these ideas of spirituality and fulfillment and like being in your life purpose, you're able to really bring that into the, you know, the realm of communication. Like you're able to speak it and share it with the world. And that's what I actually feel that you might already be experiencing a lot of because of that Uranus transit. Uranus moves really slow. It's gonna be in Taurus for like another seven years or something like that. So this is a common theme for you for the next seven years, right? Like re redefining yourself, 
revolutionizing yourself in a spiritual way. That's really powerful and really, really an awesome transit to be having right now. A lot of us, we all have these transits in different like placements in our chart, but we're all feeling like the essence of it, like revolutionize, right? Change your daily life, change the earthly realm. The, you know, Taurus is like build a new world. Uranus and Taurus is build a new world. That's what, that's what we're experiencing. For you, it's like building a new world in a spiritual way. So it's spiritual growth for you in a massive, massive way. And then are you able to communicate about it and speak about it? Venus moves into Scorpio on the 8th, again, into your third house of communication. This is relationships because um, Venus rules relationships. It has been, you know, in Libra and it's been really feeling really good in Libra. And now it just gets kind of intense <laughs> in Scorpio because it can get possessive and very um, controlling and jealous um, that's kind of the negative aspect of it, but the, the, the positive aspect is deep relationship, you know? Um, so this deep ability to, for you to communicate in your relationships in a very deep way. And that's beautiful. Full moon in Aries on the 13th is happening in your eighth house of death, sex, and money. Or basically the eighth house is the house of transformation ruled by Pluto. Aries is the beginning of a new lunar cycle. We just ended with Pisces full moon. So Aries, new full moon in your eighth house, the beginning of this cycle is like something will transform. Something will transform. You are already transforming, but something will transform on this day. And you will, you will kind of go through that transition and you will be reawakened. It's going to be powerful for you. The sun will enter Scorpio on the 23rd and the new moon will be in Scorpio on the 27th and both of these in your third house of communication. So there's basically a lot going on in your third house of communication. So you are stepping into an ability to communicate very strongly and very deeply. Just be careful not to not to activate those like the gnarly energy of Scorpio, right? But but be in that like 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 swim in that energy with power like Scorpio is in control of itself it's really intense but there's this energy where it really is determined and that's why I'm calling this whole month passionate determination because of all the Scorpio energy it's passionate but it's determined so you are passionate you will be passionate and determined to speak your mind and speak your truth and that is like powerful because you Virgo are like the ones that are leading us into the Aquarian age oh yeah <laughs> for sure Virgos are their key especially when they step into their power and their spirituality Virgo will be the key to the new world because they will be able to like you are a, a very massive communicator you communicate a lot of things to people you can see the details of everything. And if you're the one connecting to this ninth house of spiritual integration energy, building yourself a new spiritual life, going through spiritual awakenings, rebuilding yourself, revolutionizing yourself, and really stepping into that purpose, and then like bringing all that knowledge, right? And then be like, I'm gonna speak it now. I'm gonna tell you what I, with the information that I got. Like, can you imagine how powerful that is? And you guys have the knowledge because of the natural, you know, the, the sixth house is naturally ruled by Virgo. And that duality between that sixth house and the twelfth house of bliss and the subconscious and like that Neptunian Pisces energy. Those are the two houses that really are like, be here now, take it to the divine. And so the ninth and the third house are like, you explore the divine, the spiritual realm, the, you know, the dimensions, the, the outer realities, the, the thin veiled, and then you communicate that. And you speak that. And so it's really beautiful. It's like a natural channeler energy. Um, and we end the month with Mercury conjunct Venus trine Chiron in, in your third house of communication. Um, and so this is like a very, like Mercury and Venus are like, ooh, we're in the same sign. Like, let's chat. Like, let's get to know each other a little bit better. This is communication with relationships because they're in the same sign. It's conjunctions are positive because they're like, they're working together. These planets are working together to help us communicate in a deep way in our relationships. And they're trining Chiron and Aries, which is he helping us heal the, the, the masculine wound. The, the wound of, you know, masculinity, the ego, 
we're, we're learning to, to humble ourselves right now. So all of these uh, are really beautiful transits that will be um, affecting you mostly. And you're going to like, it's prophetic to me. I feel like prophetic energy from you coming in October. So hell yeah. <laughs> so let's see what the cards have to say for you this month. <laughs> That's awesome because uh, I'm thinking of, of my friend Jason from Ray of Light Tarot who I'm doing the course with. He's a Virgo. And uh, I mean, could, like, look at this. Like the course launches on the day where his full moon in Aries in the eighth house of transformation, like he's going through this massive transformation. I hope you don't mind me sharing this, Jason. <laughs> he's going through this massive transformation and then activating his like ninth house of spirituality. And then all of this massive downloads are going to be coming through in his third house of communication. And who's going to get those massive downloads? The students of the class. <laughs> I'm just like, yes, this is epic. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. So definitely not 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 to not to be missed event, Virgo. <laughs> I can't wait. And I would love for you guys to share also in the chat how these energies start to, you know, flow through you during the month. All right, cards. Come out, come out wherever you are. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> So you start, we start with the nine of pentacles. So this is like you're building yourself up um, in an earthly way. So in a very physical time space reality and also in a financial way, in an abundant way, you are, you're, you're building it. You're making it. It's happening. I love that. I think you're like building your, you know, your foundation that you're going to need for the rest of your life. We all are. We really all are. If we if we align with the higher frequencies of these um, transits, we will find ourselves in a very a very powerful place. You get the page of wands, which is look at this beautiful card. I like these cards. These are the Moon uh, Child Oracle, but the page of wands is a very loyal energy. Um, this is, this could be a very trustworthy friend that is around you right now or during this month. It also indicates a message of growth, courage, and love, growth, courage, and love. So this could be someone that comes to you and shows you like, you know, sh like appreciates your love, appreciates, you know, this powerful, and this could also be you embodying this energy of the page of wands of like growth and transformation. I feel like it's both. Wow. Okay, <laughs> so Eight of Cups, you're definitely walking away, and but, but you're walking away from, right, the past, the old, the things that haven't worked, and you are moving in a new direction. Like I see you very powerfully moving in a new direction because you are going through this spiritual growth. You are growing and you're literally walking away from the past and into like a freaking epic, epic future. And look at this, Ten of Swords. This is a cycle that is ending. And a new cycle that is beginning. And it is a cycle that is beginning with growth and expansion in the realm of abundance. That's, that is, that's intense. I'm going to pull a card from the secret language of light for you. Let's see what it has to say. What does it have to add to this message? I like this message. Focus. I'm going to do one more. Focus. Focus, Virgo, focus. You're good at that. You're going to be just fine. And, oh, two more came out. Transformation. You're going through major transformational shifts. Yes, you are. Keep walking. Don't stop. Keep going in that direction. You're going to be fine. You are going in the right direction. And you are soul journey. You're experiencing a journey that is 
more than just a life journey. This is a soul journey. You are stepping into your power. I really feel like I said this prophetic energy about you this month um, with all of these things happening in your third house of communication, like being able to speak your truth share your journey with people and as you do you become that example you become that healer you become that um that person that people can 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 hear what you have to say hear your message and they get inspired and that's beautiful because we really need virgos to step into that that space i hope this this uh reading resonated with you virgo and um i hope you have an amazing month of october i can't wait Tell me in the comments if this resonated and I will see you guys again next month. Satnam.